Today I'm going to be going over how to make an Instagram carousel in Photoshop. And a carousel or a collage, uh, this was suggested by Josie. I met him in Seattle, super nice, uh, super cool dog, super, super cool. Uh, but uh, currently in New York, so let's get started. So uh, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get, hit create now or file new uh, create and so the Instagram, the regular Instagram uh, post is 16 by 20. You see I have a preset here. And I just do this so that I can easily go in because uh, I usually use these same exact uh, numbers. So uh, 16, 16 by 2000, that's what it is. Now you want to multiply this number by however many um, car carousel slides you want. So I made a little uh, graphic if you want to look at that for reference. Um, otherwise, we're going to be using three three different slides. So it's forty eight thousand uh, by two thousand, and uh, leave all these the same. Make sure the orientation's this way: seventy two pixels per inch, and then we're going to create. Okay. So now you have this. So now what you're going to want to do is you want to line everything up so that you can know when uh, the next carousel slide is going to be. So what you're, going, what you're going to do is go up to view, new guide layout, and then you're going to go up to custom. You're going to change that to custom. And you want to check columns number three. Uh, make sure these are empty. Make sure this is gone, that's gone, and that's gone. And uh, make sure that's not checked, unless you want um, like your the middle here shown uh, which I find helpful but we don't need it in this video so there we go press OK okay there you go so now you're gonna import your photos so I have three photos here uh, we're gonna make kind of a little bit of a collage here um, real quick just for example so now you have your three photos you import them and you can just place them wherever and if you want you can make one bigger and here and then put this one on the top and then you get this effect where it's gonna go on to the next slide so now you're probably wondering how do I save this uh, can I just save it all as one and you can't you cannot save it all as one um, Instagram doesn't like that they don't uh, allow you to re-upload them anyways so you're going to go up to the square marquee tool up here, click that, um, and then drag. Um, another important step before I get too far is go to view and then go to snap. This will snap. This is how you go get this pink, uh, pink ruler. So you drag this until the first ruler. Uh, it really doesn't matter what corner you start from, uh, but yeah. And then you press control C. Make sure this is off. Press enter, and then file, save, and then you save it. So we're just going to name these all on title too. Okay, now you're gonna press uh, control Z. That should bring you back here. You do the same thing. So you get your marquee, go like this, and go control C save jpeg and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna replace it over for this video but you don't want to do that and you don't want to change any of those settings but uh, do that press control Z again get the marquee tool and then crop control C and then control C or command C and then that and then you just save that one again and then you just upload these to your Instagram uh, and that's how you do it so don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this I've done uh, a few tutorials on editing in Lightroom and uh, a few in Photoshop and I also do occasional vlogs and stuff. And you'll actually see him in one of the vlogs. I'll put it at the end of the video if you want to see it. Uh, yeah. Later.